Hello everyone, welcome again and in this session I'm gonna continue the uh, BDD automation and uh, in last two session you have seen how, how, like how can we set up these things and how can we start BDD automation over the using spec flow over the ID is uh, Visual Studio so uh, today we'll discuss about the background things a little bit and the parameters how can we pass the parameter by a step to step definition by a feature file to step definition so what is the background background is like similar like if you want to run some steps some preconditions before your every test case you can write these things in the background for example i write here i navigate to the url and i click on the input form so if you have following the series then you can easily understand we are uh, navigating to this url and in the input phones we are going to click so i have created two scenarios like the first one we you have seen in the last video uh, like i click on to the simple demo form and then i can see the simple demo form demo form like click on this simple demo form and we have just verified this some 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 text here so in 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 the next uh, in the next scenario we are going to see like how we are going to enter some message here and we'll validate this message here so in this two scenario you can observe the common thing is i every time i navigate to the url and click to the input form so we can keep this thing in the background task and then second scenario will run and then again when the third scenario will run then the background task will execute automatically so my next scenario is i uh, hope you can understand the, the use of background so what are the common things uh, before every test steps you uh, every scenario you want to run you can keep that in the background task <coughs> so uh, now uh, so and verify the message so i click to the simple demo form and i enter hello input so i'm passing this parameter as a parameter you can see whatever in the double quotes you are going to write here it will treat as a parameter so how can we use the parameter in the step definition let's see and let's create a step definition for this step so right click on this go to the definition and will generate a code for me and I, I move to my step definition and I'm gonna put it here inside this step definition so you can see here this comes as a parameter and this parameter cage by this p1 so we can change the name here we can name as a message so <clears throat> in this two scenario let me execute the first one so you will be understand uh, like no let me get the uh, x path of this so it will be easy to so i copied the x path here and the x path is like id user message is good and this time i'm gonna pass that uh, x path directly and then in, in the upcoming upcoming video we'll see how can we handle these things um, using the page object model or page factory so for now for some basic tutorials i'm gonna pass that url that x part directly so by find by id it's going find element find it's not getting here now sorry it's gonna find by x path and i'm gonna pass the x path here exactly Convert this to this to work. Yeah. We have to remove the space from here. Okay. So this time it will case the URL here. Uh, so it's kind of input box. So I can say I have element. I can say I. Have element uh, input goes to this. So in this input, I'm gonna send a parameter from this. Like uh, I have a parameter here, hello, uh, as a message. So input dot send keys. And what keys I have? I have this message. So I'm gonna pass this message here. Okay, the one step is done and what the next step says so uh, this parameter this uh, double quotes will use to pass the parameter from the feature file to step definition 
so it will get the hello message and send the hello message to the browser and um, when i click to the show message button it means it's going to talk about this when i click on this button the message will display here then will be will then will verify this message only so i again right click on this create another method and click and paste it here so i need a xpath for this button let's get grab the xpath so this is the button i hope there should be id okay so the button name is like get input so again i'm gonna pass in the driver dot uh, find element and it would be like by x path and i'm gonna pass the x path here and and i'm gonna just click on this element so i can pass directly also no need to take it every time as a store as a variable and then when then the next step will be like i can see the hello message like parameter message so again i click i i, I get it and this time we have to put assertion here so let's move to again at the validation message so the message should be Basically, we need x part of this field from where I can get showing me the so message. Okay, this is the spawn. So uh, in upcoming videos, I will show you how can you get the exact X path or we'll use some extension also, but it's in, it's a starting of the tutorial. So I'm using these things directly. So, okay. So let's take this text in a, uh, you can say in a string, you can take it in a string, a string, display message, display message equals to driver dot find element and uh, by dot uh, x path i'm gonna pass the x path here it should be id so it's giving me an error because we are it's, it's it, this uh, find element will return an element and we are storing this in a string so we need to convert this on a text or you can convert this on to string also so, to string so on every step i'm going to i'm i'm showing you a different way like here we store the element in i web element then we here we pass directly and here we are also converting this directly converting this in a string and showing the message here so in the parameter also we will get that message the verification message so again i'm going to pass the name as a message and let's put a assertion here so assert dot is true is true and then message should be hello or something like uh, this displaying message dot contains or equals you can keep the both things mm -hmm. equals will count the exact things and should be message so uh, the parameter will get the message and this display string will get the uh, response from there uh, from the browser and will verify the message so let's see let's execute it and check is working or not or for verification purpose for the verification purpose we can print the message here also so <clears throat> i'm gonna write a console dot write line and i'm gonna print display message and display message print a message for it Let's run it before run just build it. We'll show another scenario here. Show and verify. Is it there? So 
I have built it. Now I'm gonna run it. Check the output. So this time it's open a browser, maximize a browser. So going to maximize or not? No. It just print send the message hello here and enter the message hello. So let's check the output. Test case is passed. It means it gave the right response. If you want to check the output, just select the test case, click on the output, and you can see the message hello here. And let's see how can we close the browser right now. So after executing the complete test case and we'll close the browser like driver dot close yeah. so let's execute the complete suite that's not a suite we can say there are two test cases only so just run this two test case so you will easily understand the use of background task so in the background task we have navigate to url and i click to the input form so again i have to run it i guess yes. So this time it's open the browser. Now we get to the same thing. Again it's open the browser and now we get to the same thing. So the background is running after every step and the one browser is closed because of this. So we will see how can you manage the things like the this time if you observe the browser is open two times. So because we are passing the navigation here uh, every time. so. In upcoming tutorials we will see the browser will open only once and then it will be close of the one so we will implement some kind of hooks things which is uh, which is uh, really useful in the during the uh, BDD automation and <clears throat> in the next tutorial I will try to make it uh, convert that complete framework in BDD uh, in uh, patch object model in the patch factory so my aim to show you exactly what is a patch object model or how can you work in a real-time automation project thank you